What's up, guys? Mike B. A.K. Phony here, and I'm sitting here with Adam Fletcher of Robot Entertainment, Director of Marketing. How's it going, guys? We are going to uh, commentate on a match that I just played. Uh, yes, it was a great match. Now, I don't know about this match. I can't remember if this match was good. <laughs> I just picked this one because the length was good. We had a match in one for 30 minutes. Yeah. And we were like... It was it was a nail biter. Yeah. It was pretty crazy. It was, pretty a, crazy. It was a really good one. Um, and actually, I performed the best in that one, I think. I played, yep. as, uh, I played as the um, Midnight. Yep. Uh, which is the kind of the roguish type character, but exactly. I actually played a lot of support because Midnight is capable of uh, of going through disarming traps. Yeah, she can actually stealth and walk over traps and disable them, which is really really helpful for some of the pushes, especially in this game. So, uh, but in here, you're actually playing as uh, the Prospector. Yes, he is actually one of our three new heroes that we have. Uh, we actually are introducing him in the closed beta, which starts on the 27th, mm -hmm. and uh, he's awesome because you can see right here, uh, he can actually dig these holes. And these holes can be used to help transport some of your your friends and allies on your team to like the other side, the other lane, or something like that. And mm -hmm. it's amazing for mobility. Uh, and I actually, I, I was just trying to figure that out here. Like I read the the um, the tooltips and I was trying to like figure that out. And um, it's really nice. Right here, you're going to see it happen. Like, well, okay, once I yeah. actually hold, you have to hold it down. For yeah, the you got to hold it down for a little bit, and then bam, <laughs> there, there you go. go. There's your your tunnel, and then just poof. Poof on the other lane. Now there's a durability on it too, right? Correct. Yeah. So if uh, another enemy team like walks up to it and they notice the hole, of course they're going to be like, "Well, I'm going to destroy this and take this out." So uh, you can actually kind of stop the prospector and his crazy like underground railroad thing that he's using um, to 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 move people around. So this character has like a flying lariat stun thing. Right, the one that just like just happy. What was that? Uh, uh, that right there is Hogarth, who ended up jumping on you. Hogarth is kind of like a tanky character. Mm -hmm. uh, he's got like a shield wall capability, and then he's also got a skill where he can actually jump onto either enemy minions or like enemy heroes and stuff, and he can stun everyone around him. He's incredibly like frustrating when he like jumps into a group because he can shield up and uh, your, your, his minion allies and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. uh, this is crazy because you guys are pushing really hard on this first wave, and. Uh, it's it's because everyone used a, a specific minion called a, a card called uh, Grease Lightning. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. That's a little rodents that just like they just sprint across the map. Exactly. Their goal is to run to the enemy rift, and of course, if uh, in this game, if you get 20 uh, enemies in the opposing team's rift, or 20 minions in the opposing team's rift, you end up winning the game. And you guys actually got three immediately. Uh, this other team chose not to close their gate doors, and <laughs> yeah, they kind of fell apart right there. I think I figured that out while I was playing Ball and Chain, the giant uh, female ogre, like Helga type character. Yeah, right? yeah. I figured that out. I was like kind of walking around just closing doors. I'm like, I'm the mom here. Like, you guys need to close these doors. And that's exactly. all I was doing the first match. <laughs> exactly. It was great. Yeah. So, so, uh, so I mean, for those who aren't familiar with, uh, with Orson's Die uh, Unchained, um, it's kind of like a MOBA. Yeah, it's, but, it, but with, when you add like the tower defense type elements, like it kind of takes it to like a different area. Right? Yeah, exactly. We, what we're kind of coining it is it's a fortress siege game. Um, it's kind of like our own genre, you could say, uh, where you are obviously playing kind of a defensive game, kind of like Orcs Must One, uh, Orcs Must Die One and Two. Mm -hmm. But then at the same time, you now have uh, a bunch of allies on your team, and you're going against another team of five, uh, and they can lay traps, they can stop minions, they can create their own custom team of minions to send after you. So a lot of it is off. Offense, and of course defense is still very very important on here um, it's it's pretty crazy because you can create insane combinations of traps uh, that might be better against specific minions uh, and that kind of causes you to have to build like a different deck of, of characters and minions that you want to use mm -hmm. and uh, what will what will probably show maybe I mean, if I happen to die at some point during this, maybe I'll pop open the overlay to show uh, the deck builder that I had a chance to, to kind of play around with. Yeah. Right? I was actually able to take and move cards around and create uh, just basically a custom a custom deck. Like if you've played a game like you know Guild Wars 2 or something like that where you you, uh, you select different skills and abilities and you can swap between them or whatever, uh, the swapping part obviously doesn't really apply, but just having like a preset way of playing using certain uh, abilities, skills, weapons, whatever, you go into a match, match and you choose that deck and you can roll with it. It was like, there was a number of locked areas, which I'm guessing that as you level up your character, there's that progression element. Yep. Um, you unlock more of those, but there was like 20 different slots I was able to fill. Yeah, it's pretty crazy the type of variation that you can end up in, uh, incorporating into all these custom decks. And what's awesome is that, uh, let's say you get up to a kill box where everyone, uh, the opposing team's laying out a bunch of fire traps. Mm -hmm. Well, in my mind, like, what, what 
what is true is that uh, orc characters are actually weak against fire. So then I'll know like, okay, well, thankfully I don't have, uh, you know, I have some alternatives to some orc cards that I have in my deck, so I won't send orcs at them because they'll just melt away. Right. So you kind of get that option and that strategy involved uh, to, to create different variations. And also what's nice is that like, certain, certain players on your team might actually benefit having specific characters uh, uh, used on uh, in your your deck. Guessing. Oh, uh, what, right what was that death? Guessing. Look at that death. I don't even know what happened. <laughs> Who was that? Gosh, this is a jerk. Um, yeah, that was not a good one. But uh, we did get it. We, we got to see the, the weavers. I pulled the weaver screen. I think one of you guys came around and told me about it. And uh, I don't think I spent like any money in that at this point. Because once you get in, it's like you're not just playing your character, right? Yeah. And running around like a third person shooter of sorts, right? Uh, you're also doing this, you're laying traps, which yep. I've forgotten several times, like, oh, that's right, traps too. And then you have, you had to, like, an escort, like, your, your characters across the map, and yep. it's just, like, there's so many different things you have to balance. And, once, and of course, on top of everything else, you're, you're PvPing with other players, you're doing the exact same thing. Exactly, yeah, and it, it's pretty crazy, because, like, uh, with the, I mean, with the traps and stuff, for instance, obviously you can set them, and you can you can cr create, you know, whatever type of kill boxes. That's that guy, that's that guy that killed me. I think I, I, think I get him. <laughs> you get your revenge here. Yeah. Whip him with your shovel. There. Yeah. Yeah, and you got the That's, chest that, that yes. ended up falling. So yeah, if you kill a hero, you'll notice like a little chest that appears. Mm -hmm. Each time you pick it up, you or every time you kill a hero and you pick up those chests, uh, you actually benefit from the resources that they drop. So uh, in this game, there's two different resources. There's loyalty, which is used to upgrade your war camps to get better and stronger right. minions or open up different lanes and stuff like that. So this this map has three lanes and you can op open up some of those other war camps where they're, they then have to scramble the opposing team and figure out how to defend that other lane all of a sudden so um, there's there's a lot of like craziness involved with with what you can do with those war camps and then of course you have coin and coin is used for your traps or for the weaver upgrades like you were talking about uh, weavers are back from the orcs must die series and you can actually use those to upgrade uh, depending on what type of weaver you have you can actually upgrade your offensive skills or your defend or your defensive skills or have support skills things like that so uh, Weavers are kind of like, they're, they're an expensive way of being able to use money, but if your team is defending well, why spend money on traps when you can upgrade your character with a weaver? That's so. true. Very, very true. All right, so I think, I think here, so the, the uh, his, his passive ability is, and I realize right here that it doesn't work on those guys, <laughs> yeah. uh, is that he's short. Like That's actually what it's called, yeah. short. So tall enemies cannot uh, hit him. And I thought maybe I was being slick, and I'm like, I'm going to beat this guy in the shins. <laughs> and then he turns around, he's like, nope, and he pokes me. Yeah, so those guardians themselves, they attack everyone. They're super buff. They also help regenerate the health of the opposing team, so they hang out around a guardian themselves. They can actually kind of keep their health regenerating the whole time. Uh, here, you're kind of redigging new holes because your, your last hole got destroyed by the the other team um, but then what's what's cool with the uh, with his passive is you'll notice like as we get later in the game uh, you can actually get bigger enemies like ogres mm -hmm. and giants and bears uh, and bears yeah and bears the heck? Uh, and what's cool uh, with the prospector is that since he is short he can attack those guys for free and they'll ignore him because he's so short it's his passive so he's great on defense and helping out a team and holding back you know huge pushes from those guys because those guys do a ton of damage like yes a ton a ton of damage yeah, they actually call it go bears it's like go the card itself yeah. go bears go bears. you see you walk across and it's like mm, mm. <laughs> it's exactly. strutting across it's like yeah yeah hurts bears are the best I love uh, he also has this uh, cool ability the prospector does you've probably seen it it's, it's happened a few times where if I hit E I'll throw down a, uh, a piece of dynamite. I can actually toss it or I can throw it at my feet or whatever. I did it at my feet just to kind of collect some money because it looks like when I disable traps, occasionally I get a bag or something. Exactly. The way it works is with this dynamite, you can actually, if you're going into an enemy's room and they have a bunch of traps and stuff, you can throw the dynamite on the traps and it will disable all the traps around it and it spawns a money bag for your team to pick up for every trap it disables. So you guys can just kind of like throw down a, a piece of dynamite, pick up all the money bags, and then suddenly you have a little bit more money to spend on traps or weaver upgrades and things like that. He's a he's a very versatile character. Has a lot of utility. Has a lot of crazy skills. Um, he's probably one of my favorites. I think he's like he's 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 quick. He's hard to hit because he's yes. small. Yes. He's he's like that pesky little guy. That was the that was the goal with this guy. Um, and I had a uh, it's so so the things I chose actually. Oh, here we go. So the there's leadership points, right? Is that what that is? The the, the fist of might yeah. up there at the top. You upgrade it to unlock the next tier. And what I'm doing is I'm actually taking cards that I pre-selected uh, in my deck and put, uh, to put into the next wave. Yep. It comes out, and it'll continue to push those things out. So here I am, I'm gonna spend my extra points here. 
yeah, try to so, get those unlocked. Yeah, so here you're at, you're actually spending some of your extra points, and you, as you can see, there's three different war camps on the mini map. One of them is automatically unlocked as soon as you start off the game, which was the orange one. Mm -hmm. You actually ran over to the yellow one, and you were trying to unlock uh, a bunch of uh, uh, unlock the the yellow war camp because then they have to focus on defending two different yeah. lanes, and they have to split their traps, split their you know their defenses and stuff, and they can do the same to you, which is even more crazy. See, so I know what I'm doing. So. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> oh, these guys got smart. They closed the gate. They closed the gate there. on you, yeah, but now you guys are just gonna bust yeah, through yeah. really easily. They, there are the bears right there. Yeah, got a couple old uh, ogres and trolls and that. No trolls here, but. Uh, oh, you guys actually have these little dwarf uh, uh, casters here. See that white buff that's kind of surrounding them? Uh, those guys are actually, that buff is coming from those little dwarf casters with the staffs. And the enemy team should focus on them because it adds this insane like 90% damage mitigation buff to those guys. Mm -hmm. So if they don't focus on those guys, they're 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 wow. essentially just wasting time and getting themselves okay. killed. I didn't, uh, yeah, I didn't know that. I was just hanging out with these guys. And just, uh, well, here we go. Oh, here here, we I go. think this was like yeah. the big win right Yeah, here. this was like the big, big push the right big here. Push. I'm just jumping around just like, in your mouth, yeah, and there that was you go. Much it. Yeah, that was that was a, a really quick game because you know you guys ended up upgrading really fast, and you you got that early wave in as well. So yeah, that definitely helps. Yeah, Just demoralize them a little bit. <laughs> exactly. Right? Eighteen to no, nice. <laughs> Ooh, that was painful. That one. Uh, how about I? Uh, let me actually go ahead and load up the the thirty minute match. We'll go to the last like five minutes. Yep. Just so you can see how intense it gets. Yeah. All right. So now we're looking at the last several minutes of the uh, of, of the the huge match that we just had and I'm playing as Midnight um, and I'm throwing trap. I have the ability my cue is to throw a trap that will now I don't know if those works against mobs it, but I've been doing it anyways yeah it doesn't actually work against mobs it's, it's, it's an invincible or invincible it's an invisible <laughs> trap uh, that actually uh, traps uh, heroes that walk over and they mm -hmm. can't see it uh, it's great because you can actually lay the traps down and kind of like catch them in a corner and like just like murder them from the side because Midnight is really good at like just running up and sneaking by people um, what's also awesome is like what we mentioned earlier she can stealth around and on if she walks on top of enemy traps mm -hmm. she disables them and sometimes they, they don't even realize it because she's just sneaking around. It's pretty great. Yeah, I love that guy. I was, I was like, I'm gonna stab you in the back. And he's like, no, nope. yeah, just dies to traps. I know. <laughs> uh, so she, whenever she comes out of stealth, she has a brief period where she does extra damage. Right? Yes. Yeah. Uh, what, what is like the uh, how much percent? Like, what percent of damage extra? Like, is it? Um, I think uh, with that one, it's, she actually does like 75 percent extra damage on that first attack that comes out. She okay. also has her right click skill, which then also removes armor mm -hmm. from enemies. So she can burst down people, really, even like a Hogarth who's like the tanky character, mm -hmm. down really bad. Here you can see you're disabling traps as you're walking over and they're all getting these sparks as yeah. if they're broken or something. And you're just taking out all these traps as you walk over them for yeah. free. Yeah, I think right here, I knew that we had a wave coming and I was trying to kind of get some stuff, like a head start on some of the traps. But then I realized yeah. that as your stealth, you actually use up mana. Yeah. And that was, that was one of the things that kind of made it difficult for me to get very many kills in this match. <laughs> I did lots of support, as you'll see, especially here at the end, did a lot of escorts and everything, but dang, getting kills was rough. Yeah, and especially this, against some of the range, because they can like fly back or something. Exactly, and, and this, is a, this was a crazy game, because the enemy has three war camps open, you guys have three war camps open, mm -hmm. so now you're having to watch three different lanes, trap up three different lanes, and like watch over them constantly. It was nuts. It was, this was a intense game. Everyone needed like a cigarette <laughs> afterwards. It was like crazy insane. <laughs> yeah, so I'm basically waiting to fall out of combat, which uh, it doesn't seem too clunky. You know, it's funny, like, I'm, I, whenever I hear, like, when you're out of combat, I'm, yeah. like, spoiled. Like, I'm always, like, like trembling like, because the old ways of getting out of combat was, like, run far, far away. Yeah, exactly. get it. Yeah. <laughs> but, no, here it's, like, here, so now I'm running around disabling traps. They don't even see me. They don't even notice game. you. And what's great is that they're probably seeing all these traps randomly disabled and they're going like, what is going on? And, and you know, sometimes what's nice is if they have like a character with like an AOE skill or something mm -hmm. like that, they can kind of like find you and burst you out of it. But they yeah. had no idea there. Yeah, but she, she, she got savvy on that. She was able to catch me. And then yeah. I run under the water. Yeah. I don't even know where I'm going here. I, th I think I'm just basically trying to get away and then yeah, turn, turn around and look. Yeah, you're you're taking the super se the super secret way of getting out of there. And um, far enough to stealth again. And exactly. Then, the bears here they come. <laughs> yeah. So here's another lane that's coming through, and it, I mean this was insane. Like just so many big beefy guys that they had to kind of defend. Here they're actually scoring on you guys right now. Yeah. They're and I'm sitting on like 10k, so I, I'm running back to uh, to do some upgrades and to throw some stuff in. 
upgrade this. I'm like, I'll just go solo upgrade everything. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. You almost I took it at so the level four right I there know. by yourself. I know. I think at some point I do. But yeah, I have here, unlocked so much stuff here. Yeah. Here's the Weaver menu. Yeah, where you're able to kind of get different buffs for your characters or for your or for your for your hero or for your minions, mm -hmm. uh, which is great. And some of them are actually team buffs too. Yeah. Like uh, your. The time, time, whenever to respawn, yeah, exactly, by like twenty percent or something like that. And, and think if other people have the same type of weavers, uh, oh. it actually stacks. It stacks, oh, so what? it's it's pretty insane. Like you can get some really quick respawns, and then it's almost worth it. Just like you know what, time to go sacrifice myself to stop this wave, you know? Yeah. So especially if you have like a two second recovery exactly. time, what's the fastest time? I mean, I know everything's kind of in in flux right now. Yeah, but. it actually varies because uh, as you far as you go farther throughout the game, um, you the the timer goes up. So depending on oh, that's true. You, you, depending Depending on how many of those, you know, cooldown uh, buffs that you have, it, it can vary. So it's it's based off of game time, not how many deaths you've accumulated. It, exactly. Yeah. Okay. So, and essentially, I mean, like we the. Most games themselves go for about like 20 to 25 minutes. This one is a rare exception because you guys were doing amazing at holding each other back. Um, and then, you know, if there, there is that rare, rare once in a lifetime chance of, of getting to like some insane, like, you know, 45 minute mark. And we actually have a last wave type of mechanic built in. Oh. So, you, you know, you'll, you'll end up hitting a last wave uh, and it's sudden death. It's like whoever, whatever your score is after this last wave is the, the, the team that wins. Oh, the better score, so that's interesting. So yeah, I just went through and I disabled all these traps, and then and then I'm sitting, there, I'm like, oh great, it's on cooldown. <laughs> I'll, I'll just go back, but I'm still able to kind of to cloak up and go yeah. through. But if you take damage in this stage, like while you're uh, stealth, you will fall out of it. But it seemed like right there there was like a, a moment of invulnerability, and that kind of dick. He just, just randomly, randomly shot. shot and yeah. hit you. <laughs> just randomly shot at me. <laughs> and you're like, come on back, hit my trap right there. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> exactly, exactly. But yeah, I think this was actually the winning push right here because these guys are worth like two, I think. Yeah, yeah. The bigger guys actually are worth more. Some sometimes you actually have minions that are worth zero, but they're actually their their goals are to just buff the other minions. So even if they walk into the rift, they won't get you any points, but their their goal is to help your other bigger minions get in and stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so there you go, you got the huge ogres in and you ended that up scoring. Pretty much it for those guys. Yeah. So uh, tell me a little bit about the uh, the monetization stuff. Uh, yep. So there's there's the, the whole deck building thing. Yep. Um, and I'll put up some some footage here after after we see this ten to zero, right? Okay. <laughs> so now I'll go ahead and put up some footage here of the uh, of the deck builder area. Um, you get you get prizes at the end of, of matches where you actually can uh, win. Uh, certain cards. I think it was like six cards on the pack or something. Yeah. Like that. So uh, as you level up through the game, um, you can actually end up earning specific rewards. Like sometimes it's card packs. Sometimes it's unlocking those slots for your card builder or your your card editor oh, right. or your deck editor, and mm -hmm. you can actually get um, additional minions in your decks and stuff like that. Uh, but with the card packs, uh, you can get like five to six cards. We're actually kind of still tweaking around on what we're what we're gonna land on, and that's what you know. Thankfully, our alpha and our beta process is gonna help us out. We want the community to kind of come up come to us and actually tell us you know this is what works or this doesn't work and stuff like that um, but you can you can unlock different card packs from there those card packs of course carry uh, new minions new traps new items even right. heroes so yeah. you can actually unlock heroes through card packs. that's gotta be like ultra rare though right uh, how it, many I heroes mean, are there right now like 15 uh, there are thir there are 13 in the game okay. we are going to continue to add heroes obviously as we go through um, what's also cool is that you earn an in-game currency called skulls mm -hmm. um, and those skulls can be used to buy purchase card packs as well or heroes um, so you have the ability of being able to use a lot of different avenues to actually uh, uh, obtain a lot of the, the content that you want to grab right um, on top of that we have a, a system that we're, we're still uh, implementing right now but you kind of see it on on um, uh, like it, it, when you get into the menu and stuff you'll see this little uh, orc jib uh, as a mm -hmm. currency yeah. and what's cool is that it's actually called the jib system in our game and uh, when you have multiple cards that you no longer need you can send them into the jib grinder and you'll get jibs which then can be used to purchase uh, uh, some other cards and stuff like that that might help out your deck like new minions and maybe uh, uh, other types of uh, benefits like traps and things like now, that. Now can you actually pick out individual cards to to craft I guess uh, it, actually it's funny because we're that's that's something we're looking at right now we're, mm -hmm. we're, we're you know we're still finalizing the jib system we're hoping to have it he, in here um, pretty soon but uh, it's something we're toying with we're not exactly sure mm -hmm. and it's something that we're going to continue tweaking as we're going through the the whole beta process and like I said like the community's been so helpful during our first uh, you know our initial alpha and uh, helping us craft exactly how they expect to see um, some of the stuff in in the game so we're we're excited to 
to see how that actually rolls out and how that works. Um, and of course, you know, with the monetization system, if someone wants to, they can actually purchase gold as well. Mm -hmm. um, and then gold can be used, you know, for card packs um, or for purchasing heroes. As well. Are there, uh, yeah, so I saw card packs in, in heroes. Are there like boosters and everything that can be used? Um, like, right, like XP boost or coin boost or something? Right now, there aren't. Um, we, we haven't kind of like landed on exactly what we're going to do with that or if we're going to do anything with that. Um, uh, but the one thing that uh, the at least the the um, the gold can buy is uh, skins. Skulls can actually buy some of the, the vanity skins that you can end up buying. Uh, like we have one for Black Paw, who's the wolf character called mm -hmm. like uh, Paw the Dead, where he's covered he's covered in all these uh, these <laughs> skull pieces and everything like uh. that. And we actually have a new one that's going to be coming out soon for the War Mage called. Uh, uh, where he actually looks like a, a Night's Watch character, almost kind of from like Game of Thrones. We're big fans of Game of Thrones. Like, Come on, guys. And, and he looks awesome. He's decked out in this black armor, like black knight gear like and stuff like that. Stuff. He actually doesn't have all the crow feathers oh, and everything like that. He okay. just like, he, I guess but, you're gonna go that far. But it's funny. He's got like the Jon Snow type of hair and uh -huh. like the beard and everything. It looks great. Does so. he know anything? Uh, <laughs> yeah. So you just start like raw, no skills at all. <laughs> exactly. Awesome. All right, cool, man. Well, uh, thank you very much. I appreciate yeah. it. Yeah. And uh, I guess we're going to see this thing go open beta uh, when? Uh, open beta, we're not sure. Uh, right now, the, the plan for the game is actually to be you know completely launched and out there for everyone mm -hmm. uh, by the end of the year. Uh, right now, we're doing closed beta, and that's actually going to start on June 27th. And uh, yeah, so if people want to sign up, they can go to uh, orcsmustdie.com, register for the beta, and then we'll start letting waves in on June 27th. Sounds good. Thank you very much. Yeah, thanks, man. Appreciate it. See ya. Ha, 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 ha.